Okay, so my name is Rio da Costa I'm from Paramount Parkour. So I started parkour around uh, about 13 or 14 years ago. Um, I just see, I suppose, I've always been a bit of a weird kid. Always liked jumping around on things. Did BMXing, trials riding, unicycling. Um, and I suppose I see, um, I think it was Matrix, and where Trinity runs around the wall. And I figured I'll, uh, I'll have a go at that. And it was used to be like sort of my party trick. Um, and then I started seeing free running out there, um, I think in sort of 2002, when I really see it. And um, see the guys coming over from Jump London, all those kinds of programs, Jump Britain. And then uh, decided I was just going to take up free running. Um, from then on, I decided uh, uh, to start teaching it. So, um, and then this has got me to where I am now to teach in the club. My favourite thing about free running probably is it, um, it changes. I suppose as you, the longer you do free running, the longer uh, it, those things change. So, um, I suppose the thing that initially attracted me to free running is what I've come back to. So that would be uh, like the freedom, just uh, just the uh, freedom of movement, just going out, and it didn't really matter what you did. Um, I suppose when I started, I didn't really have a clue what I was doing. So it was just a case of just jumping on little things, and it wasn't really anything big. And then as I got better, um, what I really wanted and what made me want to do it is learning bigger tricks and the more impressive tricks and making videos and stuff. Um, and now it's come back to just, just wanting to move again and just be flowful, just jump from small, it doesn't have to be small gaps, but just, just standard, standard gaps or maybe what I'd class as standard. Um, just doing small pre's, flowing movements. So that's kind of the, that's, that's the real love. And it's the community of, of free running as well. Just everyone just comes together, watches each other's stuff, comes together and just, creates different movements. I suppose my claim to fame um, probably is, is the fact that I opened the first parkour gym in the UK. That's probably my biggest claim to fame, I suppose. Um, uh, we're not really, we've never been, we've never been a well-known group. Because we're in Milton Keynes, it's quite small. Um, for us to then create, uh, or what should I say, open the first gym in the UK of its kind, was quite a big thing. Um, so that's kind of my biggest claim to fame. and. Um, I suppose the idea is the idea around the jam is is literally it's about bringing different movements together. So as you can see out there, we've got pole, we've got bar, we've got calisthenics, we've got free runners, trickers, gymnasts, um, break dancers, contemporary dancers. Apparently, um, you know, it, it's about bringing different movement together, and then just uh, and just yeah, just everyone just coming together and just making something happen and just having fun.
Hi, I'm Luke. I'm a Bedfordshire based freerunner from Team Spa Freerun. I'm Alex Henderson. I'm Curtis Wood. Hi, uh, we're part of Roaring Pogs. My name's Craig Day, and, well, we're all freerunners. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm a freerunner sponsored by Paramount Parkour. <laughs> and, this, and this is what I think of freerunning. <laughs> Started first, you might as well go. Yeah, I started uh, nine years ago. I jumped in a few bushes and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did, I did some research on YouTube and found out how to do it. So just started going serious. Um, I used to be a gymnast and then I played Mirror's Edge once at a friend's house and I decided that I wanted to stop gymnastics and stop having to wear those like leotards that crush your testicles. And I wanted to start free running instead and I started free running like there was a class here and I started that. Uh, basically I started when I was a little kid. Um, I think I was around 12 years old and uh, I just watched Jump in and come out and uh, the first thing me and my friend said was we have to go out and try that. It looks like so much fun. Um, after about a month I knew I was hooked. It was just so addictive uh, being out and doing uh, anything that would keep me active to be honest. Um, and the flips and the acrobatics involved as well. Uh, just got the adrenaline pumping, I've been hooked ever since. Well, I started off free running by being shown a video called Professor Longhair Big Chief, which my mum actually showed me, which features two British freerunners, Phil Doyle and Kai Willis, jumping around Cambridge. And that sort of inspired me as I'd always tried to like jump around and throw random flips. So that just made me really want to do it. So I found a club, which was obviously MKPK or Paramount Parkour. And I started going to that and started progressing really well. So kept it up. I don't know, I think everything that I've done with parkour is an achievement because I used to be really, really overweight. So when I found parkour, I found it kind of hard to believe that I'd ever be in the state where I'd be able to flip and go around, and just be nuts and just be myself. So I think how far I've come in parkour or free running is a, an achievement for me. My best achievement is, was when I hit my first court. But I was training it for ages, always swapping, like never like actually hitting a course, from getting nowhere near, I couldn't even twist. I could barely gain her at the time. But then like I don't know, I just came here, started training, just threw my corks on trampolines, started getting them down, tried on floor. One time I just hit it and it was just yeah man. <laughs> Five months ago, uh, I was doing dirty precisions to like literally a rail like this thick. Uh, I got a bit complacent. I missed my foot in, got a shin, got a nice popped shin that had to be glued. But when I fell, I fell on my rib and it ruptured my kidney. So, yeah, that's the last thing I've done. That wasn't fun. I've never thrown up when I've injured myself before. So, yeah. so. Um, my favourite trick, which is corkscrew, I uh, dislocated my left knee doing that and broke my toe on my left foot doing that. So, I mean, they were two pretty bad injuries which kept me out for about six weeks at a time. And I finally managed to get the corkscrew and now I can't do it anymore. So the battle continues, but I will eventually get it again. So, yeah.